Hello, this is Jacob May, and I am here with Miss Samantha May, who is a second grade teacher at Southeast Elementary in Sykeston, Missouri. Uh, Miss May, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to interview you and ask these questions. Um, the purpose of this interview is to gain a little more knowledge on teaming and co-teaching. Um, just want to let you know that this interview will only be viewed by my instructor. Um, and do you give me permission to record this interview and post it to uh, the classroom? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Uh, the first question I have for you today is, you know, in your current school, are you a member of any teaching teams, grade level teaching teams, projected base teams, PLCs, school improvement teams, anything of that nature? Yes, there are actually lots of things that I'm involved in. Uh, for instance, we do do PLC teams at my school uh, where we work with our grade levels. Um, but I also got the pleasure of doing co-teaching this year with our special education teacher. Awesome. Um, what are some of the goals of the team and what is your individual role on each of those teams? Um, so on the PLC teams, I am actually a part of the building leadership team, which means I am the lead in that PLC team for my grade level. Um, we call me a rounder to make sure that everything is um, going specifically throughout the meetings that we have to plan for our students. And then for our co-teaching teams, I work collaboratively um, with the special education teacher. Um, our roles, um, we consider ourselves equals in the classroom um, with our planning and things like that. Um, do you feel that your team has enough time to meet throughout the week um, to discuss things that need to be done? So um, at our elementary building, we are actually one of the smallest um, elementaries that we have here in Sykeston. We actually have uh, three, one through four buildings. Um, and because we are the smallest, we have to share um, specials teachers. And so that limits us on how many common plan times we have. Um, we do get at least two common plan times to meet with our PLC teams um, throughout the week to discuss data and student learning and progress and um, how we're gonna differentiate instruction. And then there's also one day a week that I am able to plan um, co-teaching with my co-teacher. Good, good. Um, in your current position, you said you do do some co-teaching. Um, what is the goal of your co-teaching when you're, when you're discussing with the special education <clears throat> teacher? Um, so our goal is just to be able to reach more students so what happens is all of the um, students with IEPs in second grade come to my classroom for reading and um, it's very beneficial because we try to reach all of the students so they're all getting the same instruction. Those students aren't losing out on second grade level instruction, um, but also the students in my class who may need a little extra support are still getting that by having co-teaching in there. Um, she provides me with ideas, I provide her with ideas. Um, and it really comes together for the benefit of all the students. Awesome. Well, thank you again for uh, taking this time to interview me. And again, this video will only be shared with my instructor. And uh, I really appreciate it. Of course.